What's up everyone, Handsome Booker here, and today I'm going to show you the first few steps of the Genetic Archives Attunement Quest. First you'll need to obtain 150 Elder Points to be able to buy the Genesis Key, which will take roughly anywhere from 7 to 10 days depending on how much you play the game, mainly because, it, because you can only obtain 140 Elder Gems per week. Uh, once you've attained the necessary Elder Gems and you buy the item, you'll be instructed to kill Pyrolos, who is a really easy fight once you understand a couple basic mechanics. And it's there to kind of like just teach you to avoid red things. Um, he's located in Wild Run, in the upper northeast corner called Kel Ugar. So once you get up here, the basics of this fight is to click one of these six extinguishers, which will make Pyrolos vulnerable to attack. The lava pool surrounding him indicates when he can and cannot be damaged, and the lava pool will also damage you if you decide you want to take a swim in it. Uh, there is also a rotating AoE that I just ate. And he will cast that and will interrupt you when you're activating the extinguishers. Hopefully you have tapped that so you're not having to mash that F key. Um, it's actually possible to activate the extinguisher before that AoE hits you again, but the easier route would be waiting to, like what he's doing right now, is to wait till he does a frontal AoE, because you get all the time in the world now to get one of these casts off. Uh, once the water, the, the extinguisher hits him, you can damage him to your heart's content. You do not get that much time to damage him, so you have to continuously click other extinguishers until he is down. One of the other things you need to avoid are those fire orbs. Just please don't hit them. Um, that happens, and you don't want to be that guy. Um, one of the other things not to do is to go down this ramp. It resets the goddamn boss. Um, so now that I've showed you a couple things not to do, let me show you how to beat this boss. So we're in battle with him now, we're avoiding the fire orbs, like I said, and he does a fire frontal AoE right here, and you can get right on the edge and click one of the extinguishers, so it gives you a little bit time to, to click that off, do some damage, and that was very close, he was about to hit us. And the longer the fight goes on, the more orbs that appear. So it, it, it is nice when there are like five or six people that can all simultaneously hit that fire extinguisher and then he will never get up. So if your five or six is good, if you start getting more than that, it starts getting really clumsy because people will hit those fireballs. Uh, one of the other tips I can show you guys is that all of the fire damage can be eaten by your mount because it has its own health bar. So you just saw me eat a fireball you can also eat the, the rotating AoE, and it, it just it makes the fight really, really simple at that point. Um, one of the ideal things to do is if you have six or five people, they can all simultaneously hit every extinguisher, and he will not get up, because you hit all of them at the same time. Um, one of the things that it is a little difficult is the more people that are in the area doing this, the more they're gonna hit one of these balls. You can already see, there are tons of those fireballs around. And I'm just, we're just two of us, and I'm on a mount double jumping. So there, you can see right there, my mount is eating all that fire damage. Um, yeah, so it, it gets it gets pretty bad the more people there are. So ideally, you'd wanna do this when there is no one around. Um, or, you know, do it with as little amount of people as possible. Because this whole fight is just about dodging red shit and managing how much damage you take. That's it. So once you kill him, this is actually one of the easiest steps in the whole attunement process. Um, the next steps after this is you need to get silver in every single adventure, and then after that, you need to get silver in every single dungeon. Not easy. Uh, adventures are easy. Adventures, you can just, I'll pug most of them and get gold at this point. Dungeons are a little bit different. Dungeons require you to do it in, you know, 20, 25, 30 minutes, uh, you know, if you want gold, not people don't, can't die on some of them, so it, it gets exponentially more difficult for the dungeons, so pugging them is probably out of the option, I would look into, you know, PvE circles or your guild to, to try to do the dungeons, and I'll have future videos on, on those and how to complete, you know, and get silver and gold in those dungeons. But for now, I want to show you guys the- it's a really cool quest that happens right after the Pyrolos kill. You have to invade the Ark ship and get this data cube. You need to try to avoid these guys as they'll spawn secondary mobs. They're not too difficult, you know, you just don't want to get swarmed by them. 
Um, the, the main gist here is to, there's four laser beams that are making a shield over that data cube, and you, I, I really, I honestly, I just face smashed them. I really didn't give it too much thought in terms of the puzzle. I just kept clicking until it worked. But once you're done with the puzzle and you click on the data cube, you're, you're done. Uh, you're now in Dungeon and Adventure World and you need to get silver and all those, and then after that you have to go kill world bosses. So we're not done with this quest by any means, um, but it is a rewarding quest and does train you to be a better raider, I, I feel like. But that's it for this part of the attunement, guys. If you did enjoy the video or found the information to be useful, make sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more Wildstar content. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.